Hello. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what are you doing? Don't ever do that again for the love of God. Hello. Almost a year ago now, I came into possession of a wonderful, wonderful book called Sewing Vintage Menswear by Niklas Hoppe and Sebastian Hofs. You probably know Niklas Hoppe by his YouTube channel's name, which is Vintage Börsha. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Anyway, Niklas Hoppe and Sebastian Hofs have joined forces and together they created this marvelous book. Sewing Vintage Menswear. I am the lucky owner of the digital edition, gifted to me by Niklas himself. Thank you so much, Niklas. Not gonna lie, first time that I saw the book and I looked at the price, I thought, whoa, that's pretty steep. It was somewhere around 50 euros. But then I looked inside and, oh my gosh, there is like 15 patterns in this book. That's like 3 euros 30 per pattern or something, which is an absolute steal and the patterns are gorgeous. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend this book if you are into the 1920s menswear or the rather the making of it. I decided to make two things from this book. The flat cap and the baker boy cap. The flat cap for my husband, the baker boy cap for my son because, oh, that would just look so adorable. My first thought was, oh, jelly, 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 I'm gonna make something for my husband. But then I realized my husband is currently on a weight loss journey and is therefore changing in shape quite a bit. So to save myself the disappointment of making something for him only to have him not being able to wear it because he had lost so much weight, I figured I'd make something that can always be worn regardless of what size your body is, namely the hats. I never made hats like this before, so this was a really nice tryout. Here we go! The digital edition of Sewing Vintage Menswear comes with two big files wherein you'll find all the pattern pieces you need to make all the wonderful garments pictured within the book. You can have them printed full size at a local copy shop or you can print them out at home and piece them together as you would any printed home pattern. I opted for the latter. I then traced all the pieces I needed for the hats, having carefully measured my husband and son's heads to determine which size they needed, which incidentally were the largest and the smallest size. If you're working with fabric that has stripes, check or any other pattern on it, it's important to be very precise when pitting the pattern pieces to it. You really don't want the pattern to be even slightly off because it's going to look wonky. So it really pays to take your time and not rush this step. Instructions said to use pelmet interfacing for the peak, and to be honest, I did have pelmet lying around. But I also had this, and I wanted to see if it worked. It's a stiff material made out of paper that my sisters had used for their long since defunct eco friendly fashion label. They gave me a big piece of leftover material. On its own, it's not terribly sturdy, but if you stack up a few pieces, it does a great job. I forgot this bit here. Hello. Oh, that's nice. Wait, what are you doing? <coughs> Don't ever do that again for the love of God. So I thought I'd sleep, but Madam had other plans, 
So I've continued work on the hat. Uh, as you can see, I've now pinned up the lining. I'm going to stitch that and then stick it in the hat. Um, and I've already stitched on the pig. I opted to do this by hand as it gives you way more control. I think it actually mentions this in the instructions. I don't really have the instructions at hand right now. I'll check it out later. But there you go. Pretty pleased at how it's turning out so far. I didn't show the making of my son's Baker Boy cap because it seemed a little superfluous, but here it is! I love it so much, doesn't he look cool? Did you rob a bank? Yes! And surprise, there's one for me too! Whilst I was making the mock-up for my husband's flat cap, I forgot to add seam allowance to it and it turned out way too small for him, but just perfect for me. I love it and I've been wearing it loads. I want to make a Baker Boy cap for myself too, but I haven't gotten around to it yet.